Okay, here comes another one. You're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. Good question here. It says, how can I convince my teenage sons to do Salat? Okay, huh? that's that's a good one. How can you convince them? Well, first of all, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us that the time to start the children learning about the Salah is at the age of seven and then insisting on them doing the Salah by the age of ten. A lot of times, in the, especially in the Muslim world, we have a tendency to get the children started too early. We want to start them like two years old, three years old. We think it's real cute for them to stand and pray beside us. And somebody will say, well, what's wrong with that? Well, the, what's wrong with that is real simple. That's not what we were told to do. And you, don't you think that the Prophet, peace be upon him, knows better than we do on how to bring up our children as Muslims? And he's told us seven is when you get started, not two, not three, not four. And if you said, well, I don't see any problem with that. The problem is going to come in is that they don't understand what they're doing. And they're going through this ritual and motions. And a lot of times in the middle of the prayer, little children will get up and walk away. I've seen it many times in the Masajid, the mosque around the world. I've watched children do that. And it's their right because they're just little kids. Now, the prophet, peace be upon him, had two grandsons. And we know from them that while he was praying, they were on top of his head playing around and doing everything. And he stayed in sajda with his head on the ground all that time and allowed them to play until he was ready to get back up. Now, from this we understand he did not insist that they do salah and he didn't make them uh, stop their playing or anything. Children have a right to play, grow, and enjoy their lives. And at seven years old, we begin to teach them the salah so they know the motions. And by the time they're 10, we can get into it seriously with them. The same is true of girls wearing hijab. If you start them too young and it's a plaything, a toy, when they get older, they say, okay, I did that. I don't want to do that anymore. So I think that if you'll just pay attention here and follow what Allah has ordained by telling his prophet what to tell us, we'll do a whole lot better. Another point is that you've got teenage kids now and they're not praying. Maybe that happened. Maybe they never did pray. I don't know. But in this case, what I want you to pay attention to is they got to believe in Allah first. Just praying isn't going to be the solution. They're at home with you. You tell them pray. Okay, they pray. But as soon as they get on their own, they're going to say, I'm not going to do that anymore. So let them learn about Allah. The more they know about Allah and love Allah and believe in Him and want to be with Him in the next life, then it's easier for them to learn about the Salah and do it. It is very important. Both of these are important subjects. I've got to wrap it up now because we're coming to the end of the mailbox, but go to our website and get more information on this. It's called IslamNewsroom.com. IslamNewsroom.com. Type in the keywords that we're talking about and get your answers. Till next time for the mailbox, Salaam Alaikum Rahmatullah. Oh, <laughs>